YouTube, we have a first turn kill. Literally, first turn, your opponent does not go, you win. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. You will see in the gameplay how this works, but I'll very quickly walk you through this. What needs to be done to perform a first turn kill? First of all, the Athena, it's needed. It's from the Taya event, so if you missed out on it, I'm very sorry, you just need one. So the premise of this deck is you need to summon your Tethys, you need to activate something that makes you draw, which will be reload. Or you could play the Magical Mallet. Or if you are able to make a Fairy Cheer Girl, okay? You just need to draw. Why? Because when you draw with Tethys on the fields, you will reveal what you drew, which will be a fairy, guaranteed, or it will be a reload, which will then draw you into a fairy. So basically, if you trigger a draw with Tethys, you guaranteed win. You win. If they're at 4,000 life, it's the first turn. So with Valhalla, why do we only play one then? Well, you could play more if you want to try to make it more consistent. We could play with the numbers. Hectatrice will search for the Valhalla. So Hecatrice, grab Valhalla. If you play more than one Valhalla, it can actually mess up your chances of the guaranteed first turn kill. So I can't even recommend that. But Magical Mallet, that can help you out. That could possibly be put in this deck. So again, let's focus on how we're doing this. We have a Valhalla or a Hecatrice, and then one of our three Tethyses. You summon the Tethys, then you activate a Mallet or a Reload, then you win. How do you win? You're gonna, you're gonna draw your entire deck. You draw the entire deck. So basically, you're gonna draw into a Wadapon. You'll special summon it. So with the Tethys and the Wadapon, you tribute summon for Athena. Athena is how you win. Athena says, if another fairy is summoned, inflict 300 damage. So we're gonna summon enough fairies to drop them to 400 life, then Gaga Cowboy for game. Not jokingly, this is real. So how you do that once Athena is on the field, you're going to then summon your Sig run by sending the Valhalla to the graveyard. That's gonna be your first fairy on the field alongside the Athena. Then you're gonna banish the Sig run for your Sprite. Then that's gonna trigger the effect of your Rose Fairy to special summon on the field. Then you're gonna synchro with the Rose Fairy into a Colossalus. Then with the Colossalus, you're gonna banish it for another Sprite. Two Sprites so far. Then you're gonna summon a Soul of Purity of Light. Then you're gonna synchro into an Ancient Sacred Wyvern. Then whenever you want, you could use the Dark Rose Fairy to send the Serenade of the Melodious Melodious Diva from the hands of the graveyard. Then you're going to, with the Ancient Sacred Wyvern, summon your second Soul of Purity and Light on the field. Then you're going to summon your third and final Sprite, banishing, and then you're gonna synchro with the Sacred Wyvern and the third and final Sprite into an Angel of Zera. You're going to send Angel of Zera to the graveyard with the effect, the second effect of Athena, to summon the Melodious. Then you're going to special summon the Cannon from the hand because you control Melodious. Then you're going to activate See You Later. Return the Serenade. Now the Serenade gave you the effect of performing an additional summon. So you will additionally summon the Serenade with its own effect. Then they are at 400 Life, Overlay Network Exceed, Gaga Cowboy, Jokingly, for game. Amazing, and that's how it works. Now, there's some other stuff you could put in here if you want to actually attack. This doesn't require attacking, but if you go second, you can make Brionic with the Tethys and the Sprites. Brionic could discard to send cards back to the hand. Then you could summon a Soul of Purity and Light. That's lethal with Brionic. So it could be good to maybe build an extra plan of winning in case they got back row or something nasty. If you end up having to, if your Tethys gets floodgated, you could see you later return it, then resummon it. Then you're gonna try to go for a Brionic for game. So if they have a Fiendish or something nasty in the back row, Brionic for game is plan number two. Otherwise, 
first turn kill. Get to it. Let's go first turn kill. Can we do it? Grab the Valhalla. Let's get to it. You know what? Let's flame on for this. Focus. From my head, I activate. A continuous activate. So I'm gonna tap this. Must reload. Reload. Reload it all. Reload. Draw, 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 draw. Reload. Get drawing. Summon the water pawn. Get drawing. <laughs> Let's go. Tributes for Athena. Where's Athena at? Athena, come forth. Sigrun, it's been fun. Burn for 300. Activate. Activate. Colossalis. Let's go. Discard this. I dark tune a monster. Check this out. I activate my monster's effect. Bunnish. Oh, yeah. I activate my monster's effect. Angel of Zera. Activate. Burn. Burn. See you later. Burn. <laughs> First turn. Kill! Yes! Jokingly! Gaga Gaga Cowboy! For game! Let's go! Lethal! First turn kill! Yes! What? What the? You just need the Valhalla, a Tethys, and it, if it if it draws in a one reload, you win. That's it. You win. That's it. As soon as you activate a reload, 
Or, I mean, if you just draw, if you, you just have to activate the Tethys effect. Oh my Jesus, GG, no re, first turn kill, let's go.